Hello and welcome. My name is Kevin Kaufman and this is Fred Weaver. We're Group 4610 and we're here today to talk to you about short sales and all kinds of information uh, that you can find here on this website. Specifically though today uh, in the topic of short sales and it's a question you and I get a lot Fred is what is the difference between a foreclosure and a short sale? And specifically, when can I buy another house if, I, if one of these two things happens to me? Well, let's just clear it up right now, Kevin. Uh, let's start by talking about foreclosures. Okay. Well, let's talk about the negative consequences of foreclosures because well, these are real and a lot of people don't want to look at them. And we're, we're not here today to make you feel bad. We just want to really share with you the true consequences of foreclosure. Um, one of the things that I see a lot is that it hurts neighborhood values and doesn't make your neighbors very happy. No, a lot of neighbors, in fact, take it personally when you just get up and walk away, Absolutely. as opposed to doing a short sale. The, I mean, the thing about short sales that are good is that you know it saves them make more money. They get more money for the home when there's a foreclosure involved. It hurts everybody. Yep. You know, it, it hurts the HOA in the community because now they're not getting money either. They're they're not going to get any money. Whereas through a short sale they're gonna get money, they're gonna get paid off completely and you'll be caught up and you won't have to worry about the HOA coming after you for that money. Well, and one thing that a lot of people forget about is that there are a lot of employers throughout the entire country that pull credit reports from people before they actually qualify for a job. And I have seen, I've talked to those people who said I didn't get the job because they pulled my credit report and they saw that I had a foreclosure on there. And they said that I wasn't responsible and, and couldn't do anything. And I mean, there's a lot of That's government tough. employees that, that yeah. have huge consequences for, for going through foreclosure. And so that's definitely one that, that you need to keep in mind. Um, I see this, and I'm not trying to make you feel bad today, but I see people that go through foreclosure with a lot of guilt and shame and, yeah. and just a, a lot of the weight of the world on them after they do it. They hide and they run away from the reality of the situation and they think, well, it'll all just go away. And what too often happens is that when they decide to let the home foreclose, they forget to even figure out what's gonna go on with their taxes. They forget to find out if they're responsible for a deficiency. They forget that, you know what, it's gonna be really hard with a foreclosure to go out and rent another home someplace. Yeah. They forget all these little things. And so, um, Kevin, let's flip the coin. like. Let's really share why you want to do a short sale because you do. I promise you, short sales are Guaranteed. better than foreclosure. Well, obviously, the opposite of what we just talked about, it helps the neighborhood, it helps your neighbors, it helps you, you're going to feel great about it. Here's one of the biggest benefits you can buy a home again in as little as two years. And why is that such a big deal? Because the market is de so depressed right now. We're seeing all time lows in values. We're seeing great interest rates. We're seeing tons of opportunities here to buy homes in the next couple of years. And when you only have to wait two years versus seven years, the market's going to be back up in seven years from now. I, I promise you that. Kevin, I want to say this one again because I think, you know, I was talking about all the negativity of, of short sales or foreclosures, excuse me. And one of the big things is that seven years, the bank seven literally, years. the banks are penalizing people, making them wait seven years before they before can buy they a house again house. if they have a foreclosure. That's as bad as if you have a bankruptcy on your credit report. Absolutely. Seven years, okay? The banks are rewarding people who work with them, renegotiate, create a new agreement with short sales and letting them qualify for homes in as little as two years. I mean, that to me, that, that speaks volumes. Yeah. Two years, guys. You can recuperate a ton of money. You can get back in the market before it goes back up. And you'll be sitting pretty in seven years from now as opposed to, geez, standing on the outside overpaying for your next home again. And I don't think that's where you want to be. Not at all. Absolutely. As Kevin said, you know what? Think forward. Think forward. Just don't just think about today. Think about the future. And you know what? If you act today and short sell your home today, you put yourself in a position to be able to purchase another great home in a couple of years. And let me share one other thing with you. If you still don't believe us, oh, I don't really think banks care about short sales. I don't really think they want to do them out there. There's a lot of them that go to foreclosure. I'm here to tell you we've closed 90% of our short sales. 90% success yeah. rate. That's after listing and closing hundreds of short sales, guys. Yes. Hundreds. And what I want you to know is that there are some banks out there that will actually incentivize you as the homeowner. They will give you money at closing for doing a short sale. If that doesn't show you that they want to do short sales rather than let homes for close, I, I don't know what does. So maybe you hadn't thought about that before. Give us a call. Contact us here on the website. Let us share with you if you might qualify for one of those programs where you can actually receive money at closing for doing a short sale on your home. Yeah. So thanks so much. Contact us today and we're looking forward to talking to you soon. Have a great day.